All right, so today I'm going to cover three topics for your midterm exam. And uh, the first one is unemployment rate. The second one is the calculation of the CPI and GDP deflator. And the third one, which is a huge one, uh, the economic uh, mechanism. Uh, and uh, right now I'm going to cover the first topic. And this is going to generally apply to the last two one also, because I'm going to cover three steps for each topic. The first one is the general terms, the definitions, and the relationships, those kind of stuff. For the second step is uh, doing the, some good examples mentioned in the uh, professor's lecture. And the third one, which is pretty much you guys all concerned about, is the past exam questions practice. So let's get down to the topic one, unemployment rate at this moment for the first step. So I consider this personally as, a, as an easy part in the midterm because it only contains three to four questions. And uh, as you can see, it's not a lot of portion. And it's pretty much straightforward. So this is very easy. So let's get down to the definitions first. The adult population is the largest group in the market labor force. And uh, it's actually about the people who are currently above 15 years old and permitted to work, like you, pretty much all of you and uh, me. And uh, of course, for the immigrants who don't have a working permit, they're not considered in the adult population because they don't, they're not, it's illegal for them to work. And uh, so it's actually built up by three big groups. The first one is employed people. So for the people who are employed, that means they have a job. No matter it's a full-time job or a part-time job, they're all employed. And for the unemployed people, uh, this is actually a bit tricky because they are the people who don't have a job and the second part is important, who are currently looking for one. So they are considered as unemployed and this second part I mentioned is actually the main factor that distinguish these two factors. Because for the people who are not in the labor force, that means they don't have a job and they're sitting in the back and uh, enjoying the summer. They don't have a job and they are not interested in getting one. So they are considered as the people who are not in the labor force. And that's the main factor that dis distinguish these two terms. And the combination of the employed and unemployed makes up the labor force. So let's get down to the calculation part, which is directly related to your mid uh, midterm exam practice questions. So for calculating the unemployment rate, we're using the employed number divided by the labor force, which as you can see, the labor force is built up by the employed and unemployed. And uh, for calculating the employment rate, we're using the employed number divided by the adult population, which is actually here. So as you can see, you need to pay attention to is they have a different denominator. And uh, so in general, we think that unemployment rate plus the employment rate, it's supposed to equal one. But since the adult population is in general larger than the labor force, since the denominator is increasing, the, the value of the employment rate is actually smaller. So instead of equaling one, it actually should be smaller than one. And uh, for the last part is the calculation of the labor force participation rate, which is using the labor force divided by the adult population. So here, the first step of the general terms and the definition is finished. And uh, since this part is pretty much straightforward, so I won't bother in getting in any good examples from the prof. Let's get directly into the past exam questions practice.